Good afternoon, everybody. So, well, it's beeping. It's going to turn off. We're going to do something new today. We're going to make quesadillas. Chicken quesadillas. We're going to grill the chicken a little bit first just to heat it up. Uh, but I want, if you haven't heard about the Maker Bundle, today's the Makerversary, so we're celebrating doing a lot of live videos and having some fun and doing some giveaways. Make sure you join my Facebook group. Link is in the description and in the pinned post. And uh, my Maker event where I'm doing some giveaways. And you can buy the Maker Bundle for $3.99 if you use my code and get free shipping, my special code. This is only until midnight tonight, August 21st, 2018. For those of you watching this five months from now. Um, and if you use that code, you get entered in to win a one-year premium subscription to Cricut Access. So I want to announce the next video. We don't have it set up here on YouTube yet because the next one we're going to do in my Facebook group. But if you're not on Facebook, I do understand not everybody is. So I will take that video and try to upload it to YouTube. If all works out correctly, I will upload that. So I can share it, but it won't be live. So it'll only be live in my Facebook group. And we're going to be putting together this card. Uh, we scored it and cut this on the Cricut Maker. We use the scoring wheel that only works on the Cricut Maker. And you can only score acetate on the Cricut Maker unless maybe if you use a scoring board. I haven't tried that. Could possibly do it that way, but I think it's just so much easier. I shared this file with the people who support my channel. All you have to do is click make it and choose the papers. We're gonna be doing different papers next time. So we're doing our laugh, love, live step card out of acetate. It's kind of awesome. Isn't it so pretty? I really love this, but we're gonna do it out of some different colors, some Anna Griffin papers, and it's gonna be so pretty, I think. Right now, if you hear my maker, it's my other one. My assistant's cutting out the paper for this, but we're gonna do the acetate live and put it together. It's so easy. Thank you so much, Bobby, for sharing the links. All right, okay, so today, we're having chicken quesadillas. All right, so I'm using this chicken. This is already grilled and ready, but it's cold. And you're going to see, you're watching this live. I've never done this before. It's just an idea. We're going to see if it works. It could be a complete disaster because I have no idea how long it's going to be to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the chicken first with the easy press. Let me turn this up to 400. I'm using the new Cricut Easy Press 2, the 9x9. Nine nine. This is the third Easy Press 2 I'm using today. So at the end of this video, I would have used all three Easy Presses. I use the mini Easy Press for breakfast. So if you missed that video, check that one out too. It was cinnamon roll sandwiches. They are so yummy. Okay, so let's go to my desk. Okay, so first we're going to cut this chicken not cut it. We're going to heat some of this chicken up. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to spray this Pam stuff. We'll see. I'm just going to spray it around the chicken. Hope that's okay. We're just going to heat up a little bit of the chicken. Okay, the easy press is ready. So we're gonna fold this. If you missed my other videos on cooking with the easy press, make sure you only have one layer of foil on the top and bottom of it. But we wanna fold this up and secure all the sides so there's no steam coming out the edges, okay? Has anyone else tried to cook with the Easy Press? I have done a video on a grilled cheese sandwich. So we're gonna fold this. So my meat is in this area. And here we go. 
And let's just try it for 30 seconds. Ooh, do you hear it sizzling? Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Joan. Hi, Bobby. Where's everyone from? Oh, we do have deviled eggs. We could have deviled eggs, too. They're like, what? No deviled eggs? Because this chicken is kind of, I didn't like pile a whole bunch, I'm only going to do it just this one time. I'm not going to flip it. Let's see what I did. Okay, you guys are going to, I'm as so surprised as you guys to see how this turns out. Be careful when opening it up in case there's steam. Who else is in their craft room crafting? Okay. Let me... I think it's good. It is pre-grilled. This was not raw. Do not do it with raw chicken. I think it... It's really not a lot of chicken. I want to... No, I have more here. I'm going to add more chicken. I'm like looking at this and looking at the tortillas. I'm going to add more chicken. And I'm going to do it again because I don't think it's going to hurt. You want more chicken, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and layer a little more and maybe I'll flip it over. It didn't hurt it at all. So I'm probably going to do, probably going to flip it over with this amount. All right, let me flip it back this way. I am doing this on my easy press mat and I just have foil here to protect it. I don't want to like get chicken juice on it. All right. Oh, my easy press turned off. Oh, it's still 400. Let me set the time. Okay, yep. It saves, the new easy press saves the time that you had before. says girl you ain't right I love cooking with my easy press wait till I till you see how I cut my quesadilla okay okay that looks pretty good. It's not hot, hot. It's pretty warm, but we're going to be cooking it again inside the quesadilla. So I think I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to move this over. Okay. Make sure that's not leaking or anything. My easy press is having an error. My easy press is one of the beta easy presses. Can we switch it with this one? Yeah. All right, hold on, guys. We're going back to the big easy press. You got it? Yeah. Okay.
All right. So I'm going to spray some Pam down just because I don't know if I need it or not. I've never done this before. So we're all experimenting together. Okay. Chicken. What do I want to put on first? Cheese or chicken? Let's put some cheese down. I'm just going to use my fingers. Uh oh, we want it all to stay inside the tortilla melody. Yes, I'm talking to myself. I do that. Don't I, Callie? All the time. <laughs> all the time. She'll, she'll be like, what? Oh, I was just talking to myself. Okay, and we're going to add some chicken. Oh, we want to add the cooked chicken. Oh, this is kind of sticking. Some of it's sticking to the foil. See, I really did grill it. It's grilling. We're going to add a little more cheese. We're going to add a few tomatoes. We're going to see how this works. I've never even made quesadillas before. Am, am I uh, doing this right, guys? <laughs> All right. We're going to see how this works. And I'm going to put a tortilla on top. Oh, let's turn on the easy press. Let me get a napkin. Do you put salsa in your quesadilla? I have salsa. Yeah, I usually put the salsa on top. Oh, they have nonstick Reynolds wrap. I didn't know they had non-stick Reynolds wrap. Oh, I'm using the Great Value Walmart brand. Next time I'm getting the non-stick Reynolds wrap. Okay, I'm going to lay this on top. And I'm going to fold up the edges. Remember, not covering. You only want one layer here. Thank you, Jennifer, for your Patreon pledge. Okay. Who thinks this is not going to work? Okay. I'm heating my easy press up to 400. I switched to the big easy press. So it takes a little longer to heat up that big ceramic plate at the bottom. And I'm gonna set the timer to 50 seconds. And then we're gonna flip it over and do 50 seconds on each side. So does anyone have any questions so far about uh, anything, about the Easy Press, the Maker, the sales today, the cinnamon roll sandwiches we did earlier? There are not any specials for those who have the Maker already. If it was up to me, there would be, but it's not up to me. But I am doing some giveaways in my Facebook event. 
and there's a link in the comments below. Y'all think it'll work? I haven't tested it yet. Do the tortillas come with the easy press? That is awesome. That would be funny if it did. No, I don't think we can cut the tortilla in the maker, but I'm gonna try to cut the tortilla with this. This is the Cricut rotary blade. This may not be food safe. This is not recommended by Cricut. This is do not try at home. I have no, it's, it's not food safe. I'm going to say that. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm going to say it's not. It's not made for food, but we're going to cut our tortilla with it. Okay, our easy press is ready. You guys all think it'll work. Okay, are you all as nervous as I am? Okay, here we go. 50 seconds at 400 degrees. You guys can't see this. I don't know why it's not showing in the video. See it? I'm just letting it set on it. I don't hear any sizzling yet. Yeah, don't tell Cricket I'm doing this, guys. Do you think 50 seconds is too long? Okay. I don't think 50 seconds is too long. Ah, it's hot. Okay, I flipped it over. We're gonna do it again. We're going to hit the timer. Now I hear some sizzling. Cricket doesn't know unless they're watching. Do you think it'll need extra time? Yeah, this is the Cricket Easy Bake. Yeah, tell your husband you need this for cooking and he'll let you buy it. These will be available in the fall. I'm not sure um, when. Okay, let's look at it. Ow, it's hot. Alex, are you afraid to try this? No. Let's look at it. Oh. Okay, let's look inside. Oh, it's melted. I think I think it's good. Do you think? You need more cheese. More cheese. Seems like I put a lot of cheese on it. Maybe not. Let's look at the other side. Oh, the other side looks done too. Okay, we're gonna try this. We can always make another one. We got more ingredients. Okay. Um, do we have the 12 inch cutting mat? Yes. Can I have that? Can you get me a, yeah. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna clean this and I'll put a piece of foil. I'll put this foil on here. And I'm gonna cut it on here. I don't wanna cut this on this mat. 
Okay, so I have the Cricut cutting mat because I don't want to cut through my nice easy press mat. And I'm going to, I'm going to disinfect this with a disinfectant wipe. It's not food safe. Do not try this at home. This is not recommended. All right, we're gonna cut it. Oh wait, I'm, I don't wanna cut all this foil. We can reuse that. Okay, who's nervous? Oh, safety off. Okay, now I can't get the safety off. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was awesome. Woohoo! Okay, so I have my son here and two assistants. This one's thicker over here. Here today. Is anyone afraid to try this? Afraid. Afraid, afraid is not a word we use with food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're probably gonna have to wash this in the dishwasher. All right. Alex, do you want to be our tester? Oh, do you want some salsa or anything on it? Yeah. Do you want to go get a plate? Yeah. And we have some sour cream. We have the squeeze sour cream. You guys, did you know the sour cream comes in a squeeze tube? It's the most amazing sour cream. I cut the foil too, as you can see. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, okay. So I'm going to put a piece here. We're going to add some uh, salsa. And do you want sour cream? Yeah. You just put that on the side. I'll dip into it. Oh, it's really fun to put it on top. Right. Does this just come out? Yep. <laughs> See, it squeezes out. Oh, he says he wants it on the side. It's a lot of sour cream. Okay. Is it good? Can you get me a plate? Yeah. How is it? Good. Is it good? Yeah, I like it. Yay! Yay! Okay. I'm probably going to need more plates for them, too. We're using paper plates. Okay, I can't wait to try this. definitely messy with the salsa on top. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Don't squeeze too hard on the sour cream. Okay. Do you guys want to see me eat it? It's going to be messy. I'm just going to pick it up and eat it. Good. I've never made quesadillas before. I've eaten them. It's really good. You guys can do this at crops. <laughs> or like someone said at work, they only have a microwave. You can bring an easy press. You can iron your clothes. You can make lunch. You can do some iron on. Joan thinks we should have used the score tools, the stylus, to smooth out the sour cream. This is yummy. Bobby, we don't deliver to New Jersey for quesadillas. Okay. That was good. Uh, 
Oh, and you can use the scraper if it sticks to the foil. You guys are so funny. <laughs> Joan, that's hilarious. Joan says, I forgot to emboss the tortilla. I probably could cut the tortilla in half and then emboss it. It would fit in the cuddle bug. It would probably emboss. That would actually be very pretty. Make sure you wash your embossing folder first. But that would be really pretty, I think, embossing the tortilla. I wonder if it would stay after you cooked it, though. I don't know. All new Cricut Cafe. Yes, Ashley, I couldn't get to Joanne's last night. Yes, Ian, you are on YouTube chatting. All right, guys, I'm going to be live in my Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane Group at 4 o'clock, right around 4 o'clock, and we are going to be doing this card. This is, this is a card I shared a few years ago to my Patreon supporters. And now, because of the new scoring wheel, we can now make the base of this card with the maker and score it with acetate. Or score the acetate with the maker. I love this card with the acetate. But we're going to use some different papers. I think the new papers we're using are going to be prettier. So we're going to do this card live in Facebook, and I'll try to upload that to YouTube. And there are a few little giveaways in my event. And anyone who wants to buy the Maker Bundle, that includes the score tool, the knife blade, the rotary blade, all for $3.99. And if you have access, it's even lower. And free shipping, you have to use my maker birthday ml code you'll be entered to win a one year premium access thank you bobby for sharing that yeah isn't this fun like you guys can cook your husband's or whatever dinner with the easy press and say see it's for them too <laughs> leanne is so excited to see me cooking because I don't cook very often, maybe only in the craft room. And another feature of the Easy Press, it turns off if you don't use it after 10 minutes. So when you forget. All right, guys, I will see you later. It's only a couple hours away. So check that out. If you missed my video of cooking, if you like the cooking videos, I did a grilled cheese at the end of my video introducing the Cricut easy press two and this morning i did a cinnamon roll sandwich with the easy press laura's asking what for dinner i don't know maybe we'll make a grilled cheese we can make a chicken grilled cheese with tomato in it that would be good <laughs> all right guys i love you and i will see you in a few hours Thanks, guys. You're awesome.